Hi guys, welcome back for another great recipe. Today we're making Guyanese style cassava pone. There are many different ways we can make cassava pone or cassava cake, but today we're doing the Guyanese way. Um, you know, it's so nice and golden brown on the outside, nice and gooey in the inside, and it can be used as a dessert or as a great snack. So guys, let's get started. Okay friends, so to start with, let's go over the ingredients. I have here um, the grated cassava and I'm using the store-bought one today. And I have two and a half cups of that. I have one half cup of coconut, grated coconut. And here I have one cup of carnation milk and I still have more uh, in here. So this is just one cup. We're gonna start with one cup. Um, I have here some melted butter salt, black pepper, grated ginger, grated nutmeg, cinnamon powder, and vanilla essence. So let's get started. So we're going to start by adding our cassava. And that is two and a half cup of the grated cassava. We're going to add our grated coconut. We add the melted butter. We're gonna add the black pepper. We're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then we have the cinnamon. Grated nutmeg, and I'm using freshly grated nutmeg, so it will be so much more yummier. Okay. Um, ginger. And the vanilla extract. Actually, it's vanilla essence. So I'm gonna add that's half a teaspoon, one teaspoon of that. We're going to add our sugar, one cup of sugar. And now we're going to start adding our milk. So guys, I think I need a little bit more milk here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more milk there. This is the consistency that we want. It's nice and soft, and yet it's not too liquidy. We don't want to get it too liquidy, or else it's not going to hold properly. So total amount of milk I use is um, one cup, and then I poured maybe... I don't know, maybe like about less than a quarter cup more of this milk. So guys, I have my pan here and um, I'm using a round pan because I don't have the square pan. So, but you can use anything that you have on hand. Out. And as you can see, the batter is soft. It's not too liquidy. Here I'm putting small amount of butter on top and this is going to give you a nice golden brown crust when it finished baking. Also my oven is preheated at 375 degrees. I'm putting a foil under here just because I don't want it to leak and create a mess in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven and let it bake for like about an hour or until it's nice and golden brown. And you know when it's done, when you stick the toothpick in and it comes out clean. So 
So friends, it has been one hour and look how gorgeous this thing looks. It's so nice and golden brown on top and it looks so yummy. Now look at the toothpick. We did the toothpick test and it came out clean. So it's all done. So I'm gonna let this cool completely and then we'll cut it. Okay guys, so it's nice and cool and we're gonna cut into it now. And look how gorgeous this thing looks. And it's so nice, so let's cut it. And look how nice this is. It's just right. It's just how it's supposed to be. It's so nice and brown on the outside and it's so, it's a little gooey in the inside. Look at that. So friends, I do hope you have enjoyed this recipe. And um, so this is the Guyanese original uh, cassava pollen. So do try it at home. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.